In this video, you're going to learn how to create customized YouTube thumbnails so that you can really stand out in the search results from competing videos and get a lot more clicks to your videos and rank higher in the search results. The best thing is that I'm going to show you how to do it very quickly and to do it for free in less than five minutes. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and log into canva.com. This is a free uh, design tool. It's very easy to use, much simpler than something like Photoshop, which costs a lot of money. And personally, I find pretty difficult, but Canva's free. You can sign up if you don't have an account with Facebook or your Gmail. So just log in and then come up and click on create a design. Now the cool thing about Canva is that they have templates for YouTube thumbnails. So you can really create a thumbnail very quickly using these templates and in the perfect dimensions that's going to fit exactly on YouTube. So come in and then click on YouTube thumbnail. And you'll see down here in the left hand side that there are a lot of templates that you can just choose from. Now, as you can see, they're geared towards different type of videos, say makeup, more business, maybe something to do with a puppy, fitness, food. So there's a lot of cool templates here that you can just take and apply. And if you do want to use a particular template, you can just drag and drop it across and you can start to use this. Now in this example, you can see that this background image is actually a paid image. This is how Canva make their money. They can charge usually a dollar for each of these images. But if you don't want to use these images, that's fine. You can just take this as an idea, delete it, and then come and upload your own images to here. Now you can find those images um, or upload them from your computer, or you can actually search for royalty free images. And there are some great websites like Pixabay or pexels.com where you can get royalty free images that you can use in your YouTube videos, etc. What I'm actually going to do is just create a YouTube thumbnail from scratch just to show you how it's done. So we can really just use this template so we have the dimensions, but I'm really going to use my own background image, which I've uploaded previously. So you just want to scale that very easy to do, as you can see, to fit the exact dimensions. Now I want to leave a little bit of space up here so that I can input my text and make sure that this looks good. Now, my advice for YouTube thumbnails would be to keep it as simple as possible. You can see this top ranking thumbnail here. It just says YouTube analytics. It's very simple. Although the title says a little bit more, the thumbnail itself is just very simple. And I'm going to model that for my thumbnail. Because remember, text on these thumbnails can be very hard to read, especially on a mobile device. So you're better off, I think, just keeping it down to one or two words and really just get across the topic and then even in the title and description you can get a little bit more specific about what the video is about you can see that some of these um thumbnails for me personally um are just too much information i'm really looking at youtube to learn how to do something quickly and easily and simply and if i see a load of text there i'm probably not as likely to click on it rather than a just a simple thumbnail like this. So my advice would be always to keep it simple and keep in mind that people will be seeing this on mobile devices where the, the thumbnail will be very, very small. So that's why I'm just using a similar image to the one there. I want to bring across my YouTube logo, which I have uploaded before. I'm making a thumbnail here about a YouTube video. And you can see it's very easy to size this up and down. You probably don't want to keep it right at the edges but just uh, have it there. You can zoom in and zoom out. Now I can also add in some text. So I can just drag and drop this across into it, line it up, and I can really change the text to whatever I want. So I'm making a video about YouTube analytics. I want the thumbnail to really uh, just communicate that. Change the size, maybe to 56. Scale this up a little bit as well. So everything's in line. 
Now I want to change the font as well. Try and get it to match up with the logo. And it's very easy to do this, as you can see. Uh, very accessible. One of the one of the things I really like about Canva. Okay, so I've got my railway text. I'm going to make that bold. And I'm going to make this use the space a little bit more. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. Now I maybe want to change the color. You can do this for any text as well. Just click on this icon and uh, you can select it here. I'm going to make this gray and maybe even make that a little bit darker. So you can just move those around there. So I think that looks pretty good. I might just um, play around with it a little bit. And I think that looks pretty good. Okay, I'm happy with that. Now there are many styles of thumbnails that you can make. You can include images. Again, that's very, very simple to do. Just drag and drop them in as you please. Once you are happy with your thumbnail, you maybe just want to change the name and include the keyword or phrase that you want to rank for. So. YouTube Analytics and click Done. Then you can click Download and you really want to keep it as a PNG file so the quality is high and then click Download. Now once you've created your thumbnail you can open up your video in YouTube and just come to Customize Thumbnail. It's on my desktop so I can import this here and you can see I think this looks a lot better than the video thumbnail that was set so I am just going to save those changes so as you can see I think that looks a lot better than it was before and that's really going to help me stand out in the search results and get a lot more clicks so now it's your turn go ahead into canva.com use one of the templates and create a customized thumbnail so you can get more clicks to your video